Please remember, God gave a lot of great things for us in our lifetime. Water, air, color, trees, forest, ocean, sky, galaxy, you name it. We have it. If we had to pay for our oxygen, I bet you Mr. Warren Buffett and Bill Gates had a bigger headache than we do. But we got it for free. Think about it. If we had to pay for our oxygen, you can imagine in a lifetime what that bill might cost us. But we got it all for free. And we want to thank God for that. There's a lot of things that we need to thank God for. So, if you probably ask me now, having a positive attitude would take care of money, wouldn't it? How is the attitude can relate to money? Well, that's the reason I have to read you another story that may you, make you think. All right? Having money does not make us satisfied. And you ask me, what do you mean? Let me tell you a story. A man, our luck. A poor man went to see a fortune teller in hopes of hearing some good news. Wouldn't you? When you're in hardship, when you're facing obstacles, would you like to ask, you know, for help? Would you asking, you know, other people, how I can change my fortune? No difference. This man went to see a fortune teller. In hope of hearing what? Some good news, right? When you are in pain or in a difficult situation, you always want to find and learn and hear a positive news. So the fortune teller looked at her smoky crystal ball and smiled and spoke to this poor person. And he told her, told him, years from now, you'll be much happier. Oh, the man was excited. He said, so, you mean I'm going to be rich? She said, no, 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 no. You will just grow accustomed to being poor. You're accustomed to being poor. Poor is not a bad thing. Lack of money is not a bad thing. As long as you are satisfied. As long as you understand your situation and find happiness regardless of your situation. There's a Chinese proverb that says this. Regardless who you are or how much you have, if you are satisfied, you are happy. When you are happy, you are rich. Another Chinese proverb say, the richest people is not the happiest people. But the happiest people are the wealthiest people. The happiest people are the wealthiest people, ladies and gentlemen. So, find a way to become the wealthiest by having happiness. Happiness is within you. So, when we are contained with what we have, we can live a healthier and a happy life. That takes care of the money issue, isn't it? So, find a way to having a positive attitude. Find a reason to believe in yourself that you can find happiness out from any situation. There got to be a more to that philosophy. When you don't have money to pay the bill, you can continue to argue with me and say, if I cannot pay my bill now, how can I be happy? How can I be happy? I know how you feel. I had a similar situation just like everybody. We are all average people. One day we are rich, one day maybe we are facing obstacles. And I have known some family that, you know, because one illness of the family members and they lose all their wealth. And someone lost their job, they lost their wealth. And someone lost their property because the economy, because they are not able to refinance things 
their investment or the stock market, they all facing uphill battle. After I wrote the book of Happy Life, I probably have maybe hundreds of people came to me and told me that the book had changed their life and told me that by understanding the principle of how we can achieve a happy life, it helped them to ease their pain. I had friends that they lost job for a couple of years before they found a new job. They lost a home. They have no food on the table. They even lost hope. But regardless of our situation, as long as we want to live a happy life, we're entitled to one. Let's start it to exercise within ourselves. Just like when you're thinking about health, you want to spend some time to do exercise. So let's spend some time to really think about ourselves. When we are in an unhappy situation, how can we find a way to understand life better? There's a lot of principles, a lot of theories, and a lot of sayings in life that teach us how we can live happily. But until you are winning through that situation, going through that hardship, no philosopher that lives in an ivory tower can show you how you can overcome your obstacles and find happiness because everyone had a different problem. And everyone have a different personality. And everyone have their own weaknesses and strength. One paragraph, one sentences, one illustration, and one motivational um, uh, lecture may not able to change your life. You, ladies and gentlemen, have to build that strength within yourself. Just like exercise. The more that you do it, easier it became. More easy it become, you know what? The more power that you have. And you find that your health is getting better and better every single day. Happiness is the same way. We try to understand how we can live a happy life. Going back to the same principle that our ancestors always taught us. Find help. Many people go to the food bank now, right? So if you need to go to the food bank, so be it. When you need help, ask for help. When you can help others, help them. When you are helping others or when you're receiving help, either way, that's what makes the world turn around. Without helping, this world is going to be stopping. There will be no love, no passion, no emotion, and no emotion. So, happy life starts with a helping hand. You have a dam, give a dam. If you need a dam, asking for a penny. We cannot ask for the whole world, but once we get the penny, we try to build on that penny for us. We cannot ask everybody to help us. At the right circumstances, at the right particular person or moment, we need to capture that help and so that we can benefit from the help. Once we are able to get our feet on ground, it's time to help others to move forward. Let me give you a very simple story and that may illustrate how helping others can help ourselves. A gentleman went to heaven and seen God. And he asked, God, I'm happy to be with you, but I always have a question. What is the difference between hell or heaven? Would you mind to tell me, God? The God said, of course. And he sent an angel to take this Mr. Goodman 
to hell and take a look at it. The angel opened up a huge door. There's a lot of people in that room. But the room is beautiful. There's a lot of Greek food on the table. But each person in that room are skinny. Nobody's smiling. A lot of good food. Each person in that room have a long spoon, huge long spoon, that attached to their arms, just like this. And they keep trying to fit themselves, but the spoon is so long that they're never able to fit themselves. And they were skinny and unhappy. The angel told this Mr. Goodman and said, Sir, this is hell. Oh, okay. This Mr. Goodman grew confused. So the angel took him to another room. The other room looked exactly the same thing as the last one. Beautifully decorated, a lot of quick food on the table. And this Mr. Goodman asked the angel, and see, are you telling me this is heaven? And the lady angel said, yes, this is heaven. The man looked around, everybody healthy, happy, smiling. And he said, well, I'm wondering why. Then all of a sudden he realized what the difference were. It was each person that hosting the long spoon, instead of feeding themselves, they keep feeding to each other. Keep feeding to each other. When you feed others, you receive food from others as well. And that is the difference between hell and heaven. It's all about here, isn't it? Or here, our heart. When we are willing to share, we find happiness. We live in heaven. When we are trying to be selfish, when we are trying to be unsharing, uncaring, unloved, it just seems like that we're living in hell. Is that that simple? That is a question that you have to ask yourself. Sometimes appropriate sharing is going to be a healthy, happy recipe for our life. We cannot count on help, but when we need it, we can share. When we do have the strength, the wealth, and the power, we can help others so that we all can live in heaven. That's H.